Hey y'all, so I lost the audio for this video, so I'm doing a voiceover. Like with my SS6 video, this is my SS10. This one is simple as the other one. What you're going to do is you're going to click the shape, hold down shift, drag on the mat, and it will keep it in proportion. You've drawn your shape. And this one I've chosen a circle. Click on the pointer, and you have two options. You can either go... Once you clicked on the circle, you can go effects down to rhinestone or if you do like I do, right click on the uh, circle or whatever you chose and then chose, choose appearances and then rhinestones. Now you want to go check, uh, click the stone that you would be using. In this case, I'm using a circle. You're going to scroll down SS14, which is diameter inches wise of 0.133 to 0.14. Most SS10 stones fall within the 0.135, but not all stones are the same. Machine cut stones can be off. So you have a couple of choices. Either take a ruler and measure out how big your stones are so you that you can go like that. Or you can make the grid that I showed you in a previous video where you could just brush the stones in and you'll know what size of a design um, what stone size you need to be using for your design I should say once you have chosen the stones size and diameter as well as the type you could click whether or not you want it to be fill or just the outline and then click OK and there you go you have your new rhinestone design now at this point what you want to do is you want to go layer duplicate so that you have a backup of your original you don't want to have to do this all over again especially if this was intricate or something like that then hide that first one click on the second one and then you want to right click on the dots and click break apart right click break apart then go to the top and click path union you would have noticed when you broke it apart that all those circles were individual circles and you don't want to bring that into your Cricut once you did the union path um, the path inside of the union I should say then all of those individual circles would now be one single layer and then you could take that into your Cricut and cut it out hope this helps Lydia